Hey there, Scipio here, and uh, just a, another quick tip on actually using a solder sucker or a desoldering pump. Uh, this is something that uh, I haven't used uh, previously, um, but uh, can be a great value, um, and there are uh, not many people, if you haven't been soldering for a while, that really understand how the thing works. So um, what I have here is I have a couple of pins here, and let's just say I was wanting to tend these pins, and uh, for some reason, uh, I end up uh, accidentally blobbing them together. So it happens. Um, I accidentally bridged my two pens, and I need to um, fix that, right? Uh, historically, what I would try and do is, like, use the soldering iron and grab uh, that solder off um, and, uh, and kind of knock it out or, or pull it off. But that's where the soldering sucker comes in really handy. And that's this guy here. Um, this is one from Radio Shack. It's a Proline uh, sucker. Um, there's plenty of them out there. There's some kind of hand pump ones. I really uh, recommend one of these spring-loaded jobbies with a push button. But it's just spring-activated and then creates a vacuum that sucks up uh, the solder. Um, I'll get the sucker ready and then you know that button will actually release it. And then what you want to do is just come in, liquefy your solder, and then hit the button, and bam, sucks up all that solder, and uh, now you can uh, go back to what you were working on without having to spend a lot of time uh, figuring out how to get that big blob of solder off. And then on the solder sucker, uh, basically when you uh, push down the tip again, it will push out that solder that it just captured up. Um, so that's it. Uh, Pretty simple, um, but one of those devices that you don't know how much value it can be until you actually get one. So I uh, thought it would be pretty cool to share for those of you who haven't experienced this yet. That's it. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.